there are great deals of money if you want to sell AI images. People are using Blue Willow. They're using Midjourney as well. But all of these are not so good. And of course, Midjourney you have to pay for. So today, I want to show you Playground.ai. Trust me, it's just perfect. And of course, you don't have to pay for it because they have a free version. So you can just make tons of money for free. And later you can, of course, decide if you want to make it an investment to get some more features. But even if you just don't use all of the features, you can still make great deals of money. And today I'm going to show you how. Now, it's just an image prompt generator, just like all of these other ones. You write the prompt, you get an AI image, right? But what I like about this one is that, for example, you can edit the images in a way that you want. So, for example, you can just add certain things on top of your image that you already created. So you can just write the prompt around all of these like little edits. It's a really cool feature. It's just like, for example, you have a Photoshop in one app. And no, you don't have to use Discord. This is all happening inside of your browser. So it's pretty cool and neat. So what do you have to do? Just head over to playground.ai, click on the get started button, and of course, continue with Google. That's going to be fast. And right away, you can just start creating. Now, they will land you on this like canvas, you know, and you can just, for example, use image to image. And that's a nice feature as well. Basically, if you have a certain image that you want to recreate or add something to it, you can just upload it here and they will just take care of the rest. But I don't want to do that today. I mean, you can just go and play around and see what it does, but you can just head over to this board. And board is your usual dashboard where you can just start with some creating. Now, before we just go and dive into this, I want to tell you that Playground just went a step further. They made their YouTube channel. So it's a really cool option to have such a company made their own YouTube channel. So if you want to get certain tutorials, if you don't know, if you feel stuck or something, or you just want to get some inspiration, you can head over to Playground's YouTube channel and find a lot of videos there. I don't think that these other ones have created something like this. So it's pretty cool. But let's get back to this dashboard of ours. First of all, we got to take a look at these models here. So you've got Stable Diffusion, which all of these use, but you've got free versions like Stable Diffusion XL 2.1, 1.5. Now there is, of course, this like playground and it's pretty neat, pretty cool. It works like at the same thing. And you've got these like filters. Now filters is what I really like here. I mean, it can just allow you to play with the styles, you know, so the same prompt can be generated in like numerous other ways. But be aware that these filters will change based on which one of these models you change. So, for example, for Stable Diffusion 2.1, there is only two. This like old timey and close up portrait, you know. So let me just show you something with close up portrait. I'm just going to go with a simple one, a girl in a forest, and I'm going to let the AI decide. Now, you can, of course, choose to make like multiple images at once, but you don't have to. You can see down there number of images. You can select two, three, four, whatever you want. Now, this is a simple thing. Now, you can just add you can just download it as it is. But of course, I would always suggest to firstly, if you want to make money with this, to upscale this one. OK, so if you upscale this one, it's going to be better quality. Now, you can choose to in paint. Now, if you choose to in paint, you will be taken here where you can just add certain things. So you can just mark the certain things like this, just like in Photoshop that you use your lasso tool or something. And then you can just add something in place of this white thing. You know, when you're done now, you just type what do you want to be in there? For example, a monkey on a tree and it's going to paint that one. Really, really cool options you've got with this one. Now, let me tell you, let me just show you something with this like playground version one. Actually, I'm just going to go and change this now to Stable Diffusion 2.1. And I'm going to choose old timey and I'm going to save the same prompt so you can just see the difference. Just create that prompt with certain filter applied and you're going to see like totally different things. Now, this prompt is really like not good. It's like too small, not too specific. But I just want to show you the difference, for example, if you use some of these filters to see how you can change all of this. Now, what is good is that on the right hand side here, you have prompt guidance. So 
higher values will make your image closer to your prompt so you will get what you ask for but if you are a beginner with this one i wouldn't suggest that you put it too high because you need to have certain experience because if you want it to follow your prompt exactly well that's what it's going to do but then again you have to be really specific with your prompts now this quality and details i would suggest to move all the way up here for example because as you can see more steps will result in a high quality image but will take longer that is up to you of course it's not going to take too much long you know it's going to be so longer but the image is going to be far far better now image dimensions here you can choose to be like six of these options but they're gonna be dependent on the model as well but you can always upscale these you know if you click on the action click on the upscale and that's for example if you want to go and sell this one on i don't know maybe fiverr and that's a good thing if you want to sell these things on fiverr you are going to have a good time because there's a lot of people doing that and there's a lot of people which are customers for it. What Fiverr even did, they just added AI services category by itself. So these are like mid-journey artists, DALI artists, stable diffusion artists. You can work with stable diffusion, let's say. And then you can see that a lot of people are doing it already. So I don't know, maybe you can just click on this person to see what other people are doing, how they do it and what kind of price they make so there is like one image twenty dollars so you create an image like this and you get twenty dollars for it and of course you don't have to like think what it's going to be because the customer will come to you with their wishes and hat right now creating a fiber account is one thing and it's a good profitable one but I, what i wanted to show you and what i really was amazed when i saw this one is that on etsy you can sell the prompts even now there are no prompts for playground so that means that it is untapped you can be one of the first people there and also what you can do is you can just do something like this let me just show you this picture was generated by an ai tool right but have a look at this the number of sales five thousand times it has been sold the price is only 2.2 dollars but you can just do the math and you'll see that it is over ten thousand dollars on one image okay this person created this once and then it turned into some kind of a passive income for that person and it's a really really good thing you just have to go and do some research on etsy for example because all you have to do is to design the image you don't have to like ship the product you don't have to print the item you don't have to do nothing because it's going to be a digital download okay so you can just upload it somewhere and when people pay you two three dollars you can just give them the link that's it now clip arts are really cool you can just make them in playground as well you just need an etsy store and of course you have these like filters for that specific thing as you can see down there there's even wall art wall art is also really good on etsy i'm going to show that to you later but you can create all sorts of things have a look at this if i just go and i just type wall art you will see that a lot of people are selling these and of course they make like an ai art you think that someone would make like 210 of these in order to like sell it of course they use ai tools and that is something that you can do as well people just take these as a digital downloads you know it's not like it's printed out they make the picture and they just upload it on their store on etsy and that's how they make the money honestly opportunities are endless playground is just one of the tools if you think this is fun for you if you have some passion for it go for it you know you never know how much money you can get until you try and start with this one but just be prepared to work on it the more experience you have the better images you are going to create so just hop onto it and make some money i wish you good luck